went to film school, so you don't have to, and today we're doing the third exposure tool, which is false color. Being able to read false color is important to be able to expose properly on a manual camera. The tools of exposure are the waveform monitor, the histogram, and the false color monitor. The most useful is the waveform, second most useful is false color, and third most useful is the histogram. So what does false color do? False color reproduces your image exactly as it is, however, with different colors. The colors represent overexposure or underexposure in your image based on the IRE scale. Certain shades, such as purples or blues, represent underexposed areas, oranges and reds are overexposed areas, and greens or other shades similar to green represent properly exposed areas. Because this false color diagram uses IRE values, you can set certain IRE values to show certain colors. So if you set middle gray between 40 to 45% on the IRE scale, then it should represent that color when you actually expose properly. If you want to set 100% to red, then it can show you when something is overexposed and therefore clipping, and you can set a purple, a dark purple or dark blue, to zero, which is crushing the shadows. When a color appears after you've set it to a certain value, then you know that that part of your image has reached that certain value. This is an easy scale to get used to, and once you've learned it, then it's easy to look at it at a glance and understand what each part of your image is showing you and what this means for your correct exposure.